is a nice little shopping center. Glendale and California Avenue. This is nice. Jesus, Charlie, you should get out more often. I know, I just should go exploring a little more. Got a Whole Foods, looks like some more stuff over there. God, I haven't been over here in a long time. It's changed. TJ Maxx with the Rouse and the Habit. Here's a rarity, a tire place. Get your tires, pharmacy, and anybody remember these? from California or wherever you had them. The photo mats. Kodak photo, Bass photo, Fox photo. Fox photo. Ooh, nice. Look. Some penciling of what looks like to be some future new art. How very cool, look at this. It's already primed. Oh, look! An iguana! Hey Mark, is, is that you? See, this is, this is exactly what they should have done instead of the Paseo in Colorado. You know, that, the Paseo in Colorado is a total failure still. It's just, <laughs> so many empty places. But look at this, this, is, this place is great. They got a Ross, a TJ Maxx, a Rubio, a uh, Fish Grill, Habit, the Habit Burger. My, my favorite place. Famous footwear. They got Nordstrom's rack. Ooh, who doesn't like that? They have a staples. Nothing but cakes. Oh, they got a nothing but cakes here. Vetco. Oh, is this a Petco? They got the Petco. Michaels, ooh. Let's check out Michaels and their whatever Halloween-y stuff they have left. And then lastly, get a little bit of groceries at Ralph's over there. Here's Nordy's. Hey, Nordy's. And a World Market cost plus over here. It's nice and I think they also have uh, underground or street level parking which whatever the case is hey folks how you doing welcome back it's Charlie it is Friday morning uh, October 21st 2022 it's about 10 30 in the morning I think I'm tired this is just a continuance and kind of a re-editing of what I did yesterday very angry just very upset with what's going on and everything and I can't seem to get a straight answer so <clears throat> upon leaving the doctor's office he you know he's also my surgeon so I think it's medical uh, you know that's why that's why the one doctor at the hospital said you know we we just don't dare unless it's an absolute life-threatening emergency or whatever we we as a rule don't really do re repair work on another surgeon it's just you know and I understand that <clears throat> uh, from a corrective point of view and point of view of well I think legally and uh, then mutually respect so uh, and I showed him and I could tell he was getting whoa well, this is ridiculous how can they say they even hurt you so he checked and as he's pressing down <clears throat> since I've lost a lot of weight he goes did you lose a, uh, any weight I go yeah I've lost like six plus pounds you know and I, I, whatever I try to consume I get very little back as far as body 
legs is I'm feeling a lot of lymph nodes. And he's pointing and he's pressing and he's he says, what happened? You didn't have this before, before surgery and all this and after surgery. I go, yeah, I don't know either. So, and if you look at my blood work, it's it's all over the board too, especially this infection that I had and trying to get rid of, yada yada. So they were very concerned. Not even, you know, I, it was starting to freak me out. So here I am. Well, so I have an appointment another couple of weeks to go get a to get re-examined to see how these lymph nodes have progressed or haven't progressed. Let's hope haven't progressed. So I can't get a straight answer. So it's either hydrocell, hydrocell, scrotum cyst, and lymph nodes now. On top of having to be put back on blood thinners until further notice or basically the rest of my life. Um, what else? Oh, my general practitioner wants me to definitely is still pushing the colonoscopy. You need that colonoscopy. Yeah, well, I got other issues here that I need to tend. You know, the piping can wait. This is just, uh, it's all very confusing. This is why I get so frustrated when it comes to the doctors out here. And I've said this post, post lockdown and everything medical attention was a lot more focused on everything and now definitely they don't and the doctor Charlie what happened and I told him I go look after being after being vaccinated my health has just gone worse than the stock market up and down up and down it's I never get a straight diagnosis nor any reflection nor any secure opinions post the lockdown post the whole thing and just kept quiet about it. So again, this is how we are treating California. Well, those of us that are poor and can only afford poor man's insurance. Christmassy stuff out already. I love these. Did you grow up where your hometown, no, I'm 56, where your hometown dressed up, put on literally the cats and dogs for Christmas time? You miss that. Look at these. I love these big ornaments. Very campy and nostalgic at the same time. There we go, of course. Hey, that's I'm not I'm kind of a traditionalist when it comes to lights, but these are kind of cool. Holy crap. 700 bucks. I could buy at least two or three pieces of video equipment for 700 bucks oh, but this is cute stuff uh, where's the Hall oh, Halloween's gone I think or deep in the back of the bellows look at all the garland and stuff whoa see from upset video to happy video look at these chairs Oh, I'm missing Christmas time and Thanksgiving time in Wisconsin now. Here's a little bit of fall. Oh, I see a little bit of Halloween over there. Oh, that's great. I think the last time I was able to actually get any or a lot of stuff like this was when we lived in Wisconsin during my first marriage. That was fun. Look at the nutcrackers. Oh, this is so awesome. See, the stuff like this makes me just miss the holiday times of when I was a kid. Oh, come on. Who doesn't like the miniatures? My mom did. Oh, this is great. Oh. I'm happy and sad at the same time. I love this stuff. Oh, those are cute baskets. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We got the digital ones. More garland. 
Oh, it's the elf. Oh, and he's got a train too. Oh, I remember these. I remember these when they were at Target. These things went fast. We could not get enough of these. We only had a few and people were just coming in at droves. That was during the lockdown. That is so cool. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, paint your own. Okay, I'm getting these two. Because I've been kind of craving. Oh, look at this. Oh, see, this is, this is. Had I, if I had my own place, I could. Yeah, the hard candy too. Oh man, I could, I could just. I'd be making videos and like food videos, but. <clears throat> and right now these are like normally four bucks a piece, but they're on sale, so. I got dark chocolate and peanut butter. Uh, look at the arts and crafts stuff here. Oh, I like that pink. See, this is the kind of stuff that just oh, makes me yearn for my daughter. Well, actually, also, it just makes me yearn for being married because I could... Right now, she's getting into, like, art stuff, so she's taking up a... Uh, doing some paintings at ceiling wax oh see this was my thing when I was a kid calligraphy and ceiling wax back when we used to write letters to each other and walk up to the mailbox oh, this ceiling wax is awesome right there and I did have a CS stamp those are so cool FYI, I know how to knit, crochet, and needle stitch. Look, more Christmas stuff. Yeah. Halloween is gone, though. I got some really beautiful stuff, though. Great stuff. I like the miniatures. Oh, let's see. See, the reason why I like these also is because I grew up in this. You know, during the holidays, uh, all the uh, department stores, not discount, beyond Kmart, beyond that, uh, Macy's and everything, used to dress up their windows. That's how they showed. But those are cool. And then getting into trains also, I like this stuff, so... Oh, Fleet Farm and Menards in Wisconsin. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Not bad. I mean, peanut butter and then the other one, dark chocolate. Because I have been craving banana splits and uh, Frozen chocolate covered uh, bananas, and that's something that <clears throat> I can't I can't temper chocolate like real dark cocoa, 98, 96 percent dark chocolate. I would like to, but it just I I, I don't have the the capability of tempering the chocolate um, at the house. So melt aways are the next best thing. So I can do that, you know, buy a hand of bananas and you know do the chocolate melt them and wrap them in cellophane and put them in the freezer and just snack on them. Uh, so I had asked the doctor after he said that, the whole lip nose, I said, well, how am I uh, for going back to work? I go, I need to get back to work. I mean, I really, really need to go back to work. I go, it's only been a, a couple of weeks, but things cost so much more and every day is like, 20 bucks here, 30 bucks there. It, it just, just it, it's dumb. He's like, and after upon an exam, he goes, well, I don't know. How do you feel? Fuck. It, it's that open-ended answer that I just don't like getting from a doctor. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> uh, here's a six-shot revolver and 
one bullet is in it, just spin it. Hope for the best. I feel fine. I, I mean, I feel better now that, you know, I was cut into again. And yeah, okay, well, you know, that's, that's up to you. But come see me back in two weeks. Fuck. So, I already told my boss, I texted him last night, uh, put me back on after the first week of the month. And he was just like, <laughs> Oh, I I think they they either miss me or they need me. I, I I don't care either way. Either one is a decision. Both is just a bonus. So uh, I'll be back sometime during the midweek of the first week of, of November. Um, I'm leaving a little cushion just in case this thing starts to get infected again, and then I'm back to the ER between now and any appointment. Not that I'm not wishing anything on on myself, but you know, just, if you've ever lived in snow country, you anticipate the winter time when you go to work or come home from work or wherever you need to be. So I'm just doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish uh, getting a couple of groceries, head home, I gotta cut my hair, get a vacuum, and this will be my posting. So I think I got a couple of other videos too that I that I gotta post and re-edit and edit and blah 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 blah. So all right, my friends, I will talk to you soon, tomorrow, hopefully, God will. In the meantime, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Seriously live for the moment pull down your pants and slide on that freaking ice if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you like what i'm doing what we're doing hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button tell your friends and family about me about us what's going on yeah just you know kind of uh i don't know i feel like i'm trolling myself i'm picking on myself i am definitely my worst my own worst critic in life some of the comment comments just just a little more weight but <laughs> it gets that breaking point y'all but you know it you you certain folks you know it so all right i will post this as soon as i can until then uh y'all take care love you all stay safe and be smart and be kind bye-bye okay this is for my friend mark everything you need for pizza pretty much Which one of these things does it belong here? <laughs>